Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Brain Logic, and today we have a really interesting, I would say, the relaxing quick challenge. 3 times 1 plus 2 divided by 2 inside parentheses, and we need to find our correct answer. Right here we have three options, A, B, and C. So right now, choose one option where you think is the correct answer. Let's check our answers in the end of the video, so it will be really interesting. So three options, choose one option where you think is the correct, and let's check it in just 3 to 30 seconds. So let's do this. So here's our challenge. Let's rewrite this challenge right here. So we have 3, and inside parentheses we have... What do we have right here? We have 1 plus 2 divided by 2. And a lot of students might be saying, hey, mister, this is the easiest challenge I've ever seen. We have like addition, we have multiplication right here. So we have right here multiplication, right here we have addition, right here we have division, and it's everything is okay. Yeah, we have mathematical operation. Everyone learned this stuff in the third grade, so that's fantastic. So right now, go ahead and put your answer down into the comment section. Let's check our answers right here in the end of the video. So here is the main thing. We need to know what is the correct order to do this problem, because obviously whatever order of operation we select is going to create a different answer, right? So we need to understand what is the correct order to do this problem, because we can't solve this challenge randomly. For example, if you start with multiplication, we have one answer. If you start with addition, we have a completely different answer. If you start with division, right here, 2 divided by 2, we have a completely different answer. And it's not good to think in terms of math. We should know what is the correct order of operation. And right now, let's look, for example, at this PEMDAS order of operation. This is the most popular order of operation in the world. All most popular internet libraries, scientific graphing calculator works according to this PEMDAS. So how does this PEMDAS order of operation works? This PEMDAS order of operation works from the top to the bottom. So the first step is parentheses, and the last step is addition subtraction. So first we should evaluate the expression inside parentheses, next we should evaluate exponents, next we should evaluate multiplication division group, and the last step is addition and subtraction group. So parentheses has the highest priority, and addition subtraction has the lowest priority. So right now let's scan what uh, let's scan our challenge according to the element that we have right here. So 1 plus 2 divided by 2. Okay, so right now let's scan from the top to the bottom. So right here, what do we have right here? The first step is parentheses. So parentheses has the highest priority. So let's start, for example, to evaluate the expression with the parentheses. Where do we have parentheses? We have parentheses right here. So first we should evaluate the expression inside parentheses. So according to PEMDAS, our first step is to evaluate the expression inside parentheses. But inside parentheses we have a complicated expression. So we have addition, division. It's not like a 1 plus 1. It's addition and division. So we need to know what is our first step. We, sh we need to divide or we need to add. Right here, let's scan. Addition, division. Where do we have? We have division right here. We have addition right here. So as I told before, higher position means higher priority. So it implies whatever elements had the higher position, it means that, that this element had, had the higher priority. Division had the higher position than addition. So it implies that when we find in parentheses, we need to divide 2 divided by 2. This is our second step. And the third step obviously is addition, okay? Because we need to evaluate the expression inside parentheses at first. So we have 3, and inside parentheses we have 1 plus 2 divided by 2 equal to equal to 1. This is really great. Equal to, equal to, and the last step right here, what do we have? 3 times 1 plus 1, this is our addition, equal to 2. And as a result, our last step right here, this is multiplication. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter order of operation, because this is a very basic, very basic multiplication right here, so we just multiply 3 times 2. We don't have exponents, we don't have subtraction. So, 3 times 2 equal to equal to 6. But one really interesting moment, we don't have this option right here, we don't have the 6 right here, and a lot of students confused, a lot of students, uh, of course, who solve this challenge absolutely correct, they are confused about, um, about a, correct, a correct option, A, B, or C. We have C 4.5, this is not the same, we A equal to 9, this is not the same, but one really important moment, 3 factorial, let's remember, let's uh, understand what, it, what does this factorial mean. 3 factorial, this is a product 1 times 2 times 3. Let's multiply it. 1 times 2, 2, 2 times 3, 6. So as you can see, 3 factorial, this is the same as 6 right here. So a correct answer to our challenge, this is option B. But a lot of students confused, a lot of students say, okay, I don't know about this factorial, I don't know about it, so I go, for example, to for example to this option A, for, to this option C, they try to solve the challenge absolutely randomly, for example, if we mm, start with this addition, 1 plus 2 equal to 3, 3, 3 divided by 2 equal to 1.5, and 3 times 1.5 equal to 4.5. So this is the most common mistake. A lot of students solve this challenge absolutely randomly because they, they don't have this option right here. And as you can see, this is very basic, to be honest, because when you know factorial, this is very easy challenge for you. And of course, we need to know about PEMDAS order of operation, which is really important. Think in terms of mass, whatever uh, expression do you have right here with parentheses, without parentheses, you need to 
you need to know about PEMDAS order of operation. Okay, you need to know about PEMDAS order of operation. So this is my explanation to this challenge. I hope you understand this explanation. I hope you learned something new, but definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong. Also write a question down into the comment section and you can easily check this answer with, with, with your calculator, like graphing calculator, but don't use a regular calculator because you know sometimes happen that those type of calculators work with problem as you type it in. So try to find a calculator where you can plug in the whole entire problem. Because if you plug in 3 and 1 inside parentheses in the beginning, the calculator will multiply 3 times 1. Because the calculator don't know what we have further, you need to find a calculator where you can plug in the whole entire problem and then your calculator is smart enough to know about order of operation. So thank you for your time, see you in the next videos, also write your thoughts down into the comment section about this challenge, it will be really interesting to read about it, and thank you for your time, have a great day, see you in the next videos.